Break it, break it, one night. This here is the youth dude at home base here at LOC. St. Cloud, we have a problem. We have a hostile bogey coming directly your way. He is prowling around like a roaring lion. We highly, highly advise you to put on the whole armor of God. This includes the belt of truth, the breastplate of righteousness, the feet fitted with readiness that comes from the gospel of peace, the helmet of salvation, the shield of faith, and the sword of the spirit. And we also highly encourage you to be praying at all all times and in all places this here is home base you have been warned be on the lookout and put on the full armor of god <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Hey, this is Youth Dude Caleb from home base here at LOC, and this is just my my gaming headset. But but the whole armor of God, you see, the the armor of God isn't actually about the the pieces of armor. It's not about the the sword. It's not about it's not about the shield. It's not about the breastplate or or the helmet or any of those things. You see, the armor is about what those things are are related to. The sword of the spirit. The helmet of salvation, the, the shield of faith, those are the things we want to have, those things. And we don't have to go on and put on actual armor every single day. That'd be kind of silly if everyone was walking around with all this weird, crazy armor. But we get to put on those things. We get to put on truth. We get to put on righteousness. We get to put on salvation and faith and the sword of the spirit, the spirit living inside of us every single day because there is an enemy there is an enemy in this world called Satan and he is prowling around like a roaring lion and God in his word in the Bible tells us to be prepared to put on the full armor of God. Next week we're going to be talking about a new series called Us Versus Them and the armor is not for other people. It's not to like go and attack other people and, and to take a sword and start beating other people down. But it says that this this battle is a, not against flesh and blood, but it's it's a spiritual battle that's going on. And you and I are called to be prepared. We are called to put on the full armor of God so that we can defend against Satan when he attacks and we can encourage other people and we can be there for them. So today I encourage you to put on the full armor of God, to put on the belt of truth, the breastplate of righteousness, have your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace, the helmet of salvation, the shield of faith, and the sword of the spirit, and to be praying always. That's my encouragement. Can you guys pray with me, please? Dear Jesus, thank you for today. Thank you for the book of Ephesians that we've been able to study over the last couple weeks. Help us to put on the full armor of God and help us to be ready for battle, knowing, Jesus, that you go with us into battle. And even though we may have a battle, Jesus, you have already won the entire war. We love you so much, Jesus. And all God's people said, amen. Have a great day, everybody. God bless. Bye. Breaker Breaker 1-9, this here St. Cloud home base at LOC, the youth dude coming at you. If there's something that you need, let me know. I am here and ready to answer any questions you may have. Thank you so much. I am truly blessed and honored to be here. You guys are amazing. Thanks so much. Jesus loves you. Have a great day. God bless, and we will talk to you later. Goodbye. St. Cloud, LOC, youth dude, out.